God is good. Oh, I thank you, Lord. How many of y'all came to praise the Lord tonight? How many of y'all came to give the Lord glory tonight? To lift his holy name. To exalt his holy name. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. The Bible says this is the day to worship him and to praise him and to magnify him. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. No reason to be cast down. No reason to be beat down. No reason to be discouraged, defeated. No, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to know if anybody's got some celebration in their bones today. Anybody got the joy of the Lord tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to believe God to do something great in your life today. Or robbers used to say that God is going to do something good today. I believe that he is. I believe that he is going to reward those who diligently seek him. You've come to hear the word. You've come to praise him, the Lord. You've come to exalt his name. Yes. I believe God's going to reward what you've come to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you're going to do in us, through us, to us tonight. Because we're going to bless you. We're going to thank you. We're going to exalt you. We're going to magnify you above all other things in our lives, Lord. We're just going to take a moment right now and uh, kick off the dust of the world. We're going to take the burdens off right now. We're going to cast aside all our cares, all our worries, all our concerns. And we're going to put on the garment of praise. That's what we're focusing on. Your goodness, your miracle power, your awesomeness tonight, Lord. That is what's capturing our heart. We're not going to give mind to any of the other junk. We're going to focus on you and you alone. You're our healer. You're our deliverer. You're our savior. You're the one who prospers us. You're the one who delivers us. You're the one who heals us. You're the one who strengthens us. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Come on, thank you right now. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory and honor, glory and honor, glory and honor. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We bless you, Lord. I thank you that this, this is a miracle service tonight. This is a healing service tonight. This is a breakthrough service tonight. This is a victory service tonight. Lord, we came to be changed and molded and shaped into the image of Christ Jesus. In Jesus' holy name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. amen. And Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody in the house declare that it is done. In the name of Jesus. It's done. What I shall be, I already am. It's done. God has worked it out on my behalf. My eyes may not see it, but faith I receive it. It will manifest. It's already done. Come on, if you believe it, say it's done. It's done. What I shall be, I already am. It's done. God has worked it out. God has worked it out on my behalf. My eyes may not see it. My faith, I receive it. It will manifest. It's already done. Hallelujah. Come on, declare it's done. It's done. What I shall be, I already am. It's done. God has worked it out. God has worked it out on my behalf. My eyes may not see it.
and just tell them, God loves you. I love you. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Good to see you tonight. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Can you give me the announcements? Yay. Well, Minister George Hello, my is friend. off for spring break. Hello, my friend. Thank you. Hey, sir. He is off for spring break. And I just want to say yay to Jeremy. Yay! Good job. He followed us so well. He, praise the Lord. He's one of those, I surrender it all to you so that you can use me. Amen? And then there's Daniel. Yay, Daniel. And then Mr. Brent on the bass, thank you. We're looking for Paris maybe to be back on Sunday and Minister George be back on Sunday. And hey, if you don't know, do we have that slide of Daniel at ORU? We should have it. Can you, I don't know if it can go any bigger, but they, uh, Rhea and Daniel were out at Tulsa last week and uh, they had snow, snow. That happened to Jamie when he went to Oklahoma City. It was beautiful here and he got out there and it was a snowstorm. Couldn't believe it. But for those that don't know, Daniel is going to be going to ORU. I told him before he goes, he's got to make sure he's got somebody good to play the drums. We got Jackson, yay, but we need one more. We believe in a deep bench around here. If you got a deep bench, it doesn't put uh, pressure on anybody. If you have to be out, there's always someone to step in, as Jeremy did today. Thank you, sir. See, the one thing, of, I'll just be real transparent. The one thing about when Jeremy plays, you get to sing some fast songs. <laughs> when I play, we're going to go right into worship. And uh, so not that that's bad, but it's nice to be able to sing some fast songs and slow songs, and he can do it both. Thank you, sir. How, give him a hand. Well, some of our teens are on spring break this week, and I pray that they're having a wonderful time with family. Uh, and Minister George, that he's having a wonderful time with his family during spring break. It's good to get a break. It's good to get away. But it, there's nothing like it when you get to come home and the presence of the Lord is here. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, ladies, March 26th, a week from Saturday. Yay! We are going to have shoes on the move, and I just cannot wait to hang out with you. It is going to be a lot of fun. Yay! And so I went over the meal with uh, uh, Carla yesterday, 
and we have it all planned out, and it's going to be good. And God is just stirring some stuff in my heart. Oh, wow. It is like I'm alive on the inside of vision. And then you wonder, well, how do you get it all in? But God has given us mighty gifts of, in the women of Grandview Church. And I believe that as uh, the months go on, that we're going to be able to receive from those and be able to pull up on them. Because I'm going to tell you, Shoes on the Move is all about us moving forward, us being mentored to do what God has called us to do. I love it when the times are really, really Holy Ghost exciting. But, you know, I want to walk away knowing that I've learned something. So you can have both. But my passion is to make every woman in this house stronger, sure of their calling, sure of their purpose. And they know they have a team behind them to help them accomplish it. Amen. So anyhow, so make sure, ladies, that you sign up next Saturday, March 26, a week from Saturday, at 11 o'clock. It's going to be great. And then our men's meeting is on Saturday, April 2nd at 8.30. They start way too early, if you ask me. Those guys, they like to get in and do it. And us girls just like to hang out, enjoy the lunch. And so anyhow, so... Pastor James is ministering again. Woohoo! Yay! And so, men, make sure that you sign up. It'll be here before you know it. And then, Apostle Majan, he's going to be with us on Sunday, April the 3rd. And so, at 10 o'clock. So, it's uh, two weeks before Easter when he comes. And I'm going to tell you, let's pack the house. He's coming all the way from Argentina to minister to us, and it will be great. And then also on that April 3rd is our Pantry Sunday. And then I want to talk about our Do It Now classes. Man, I am so excited about it. I called up Jamie. I was getting ready for Shoes on the Move the last meeting. I was here studying on the Friday, and I called him up, and I said, it's time to do a class on how to set goals and to accomplish them. And some may think, well, but gee, that's so easy to do. But I think if you really understood the importance of your goals and the importance of having a plan and then the importance of having a team that will help you to accomplish that. You know, sometimes God gives us goals and we can do them on, on our own. But I heard uh, a minister say that if the goal doesn't stretch you, hear me, everybody, if the goal doesn't stretch you, it probably just came out of your own desire because the things of God, it causes you to pause, take a moment and say, God, how could that ever be? How could I ever do, uh, you know, a meeting across the world? How could I ever do a mission trip or whatever God's put in your heart? And But if we will say, God, I'm right here for the stretching, so stretch me and do what you want to do. So I'm t- encouraging everybody to sign up for the Do It Now, the benefits of goal setting. And we need our teens there. We need our children there. Families, you need to be there because it is going to really help you. And it's not just about today, but it's about your future. Hallelujah. Would you give Pastor James a hand? Hallelujah. Good job, Debs. And I love that top. That's awesome. Praise the Lord. The Lord lived a strategic life. Do you believe that? I don't think Jesus ever got up one time and said, well, let's just see what's going to happen today. I think Jesus lived strategically. I think he got his assignment from the Father in the morning and went about that day doing every single thing that he was led to do by the Holy Spirit. I think he led by plan. I think he led by goal. He led by mission. We know he led by purpose. And he lived a strategic life. 
Strategery is the key to living victoriously. If you get up in the morning and you just say, okay, sirrah, sirrah, whatever will be, will be, then you're letting life happen to you. But if you get up in the morning and you have a plan, and it's not hard to do. If you get up in the morning and you have a plan, you have a strategy, you have goals set, you have your checklist, your to-do list, you know what you're going to get accomplished in that day, and you're not going to let the devil steal it from you. But you are going to glorify the Lord and everything said and done. You're going to start seeing your life go from one level to the next level. And goal setting is the key. It is the key to adding order and strategy to your life. Otherwise, you're just like a ping pong ball. You're just bouncing around and uh, you get hit by this and hit by that circumstance and this time robber and this sort of... And, but listen, if you live according to a strategy, Amen. goals, benchmarks, checklists, if you live, I just finished a book, well, I haven't quite finished it yet, on how to make a checklist. It's called the Checklist Manifesto. And uh, you know what? Every day, before, in the night before, I make a checklist of what I need to do in, in the day. And I'll add to it during the day, and I'll check it off as I go along. And if I don't get it done this day, I'm going to put it on the next day until I get it checked off. Somebody say amen. amen. I write my goals down. What do I want the goals for the church to be? And my, I'm just encouraging you that this is the strategy to get ahead in life. This is it. And this is why I want teenagers to come. This is why I want folks to come. If you have children or grandchildren, I want to be able to give you this curriculum so that you can pass it along to the next generation because only 3% of Americans ever write their goals down. And it's been proven that those who write their goals down will earn 10 times more in life than those who don't write their goals down. That's significant, isn't it? So let us show you how to do it. Amen? This is something Debbie and I have been living uh, by for a long, long time. And we know it works and we want it to work for you. Praise the Lord. Hey, I want to thank everybody for participating in the uh, Building Fund. Uh, this book was given to you as a thank you for your building fund offerings. It's uh, just a little book. It's only 70 pages long, but it's big on the inside. And it explains the nature of God, and it is God's nature to take you from lack to plenty, to take you from one level to the next level, to take you from one blessing to the greater blessing. And it is doctrinally explained in here for you. And so, uh, you know, if you got uh, the Word of God, then you can have faith for it and stand upon it. So it's all laid out in here. It's all explained to you in here. And then in the very back of the book, it gives you a strategy on how to walk in the overflow. How to see the blessings of God overflow in your life. And so I just, I'm just so glad that so many people uh, availed themselves to this. It is in the bookstore now. It's uh, $13 for this book, and it's powerful. You need to have this in your faith library, and I encourage everybody to get it who can and use it, read it, give it away to somebody else. But again, thank you, thank you for participating in the Building Fund. With our donations and pledges that on day one, on that Sunday, we uh, hit our $30,000 mark. Isn't that fantastic? And then more last Sunday, Last Wednesday, last Sunday, more has come in since then, and I'll get give, give you the final number uh, this Sunday on what that is. So thanks for participating in that. Let's go ahead and receive our tithe and offering for tonight. And uh, Jeremy, so proud of you. You're fantastic. You're doing a great job. Man, I'm just blessed by you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to sow good seed into good ground. We declare that this seed will produce a harvest of souls saved, bodies healed, lives changed in Jesus' name. Hey, before the choir jumps in, let me just share real quick. I was out in the, um, come on uh, folks, we can receive it. I was just out in the Next Gen Build, no, in the Impact Building uh, before church. Debbie and I rode out on the golf cart. 
and we are right about done. I think, I think the plumber's got one more day. The electrician is going to come back tomorrow to hook up the air conditioning system. And then I think we're done on the inside. Then we just have landscaping to do on the outside, some staining of the deck work, and, and they're going to come paint the court. We're there. We're there. Glory to God. Someone say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. Fantastic. Glory to God. Love it. Thank you, sweetie. Good job. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have I got